to another episode of What's in the News This Week. And remember, if your favorite YouTuber is not bringing you the tea like this, you need to be subscribing. Now, normally I don't bring the tea till about Friday, Saturday, but there's so much going on. I got to, I got to bring it on Thursday, okay? First up, we have Pop Smoke. A up-and-coming rapper who was 20 years old was fatally shot and killed early Wednesday morning. And it was said to be a gang-related homicide. He was shot and fatally killed by masked intruders who intruded into his Hollywood Hills home he was renting. Now, it was supposedly, uh, allegedly, a party was going on and he was inviting different folks and he's not from California, so he really didn't know the people. You know, he's just flossing and inviting people. Yeah, bring bring some hoes and blah, blah, blah. So you, you can't, you know, with young people who get new money, you, you have to have, you need some a spiritual advisor. You need someone to advise you on how to move when you get money. See, when you go from not having no money to having some money, you don't know how to act. And that's why you see a lot of these rappers flossing, uh, they Instagram live, they showing the boat, the bundles of money, they throwing the money in the air and it's floating everywhere. For what? I don't know. So that you can see how much money they got. Uh, obviously you want somebody to come rob you or you can't give out your location. Always be mindful of information that you give out and what you're saying and what you're showing people. Next we have Wendy Williams. She been a whole mess all 2020. Wendy Williams has multiple petitions circling. They are circling multiple, at least three petitions trying to get Wendy Williams fired. Wendy Williams went on, was on her show talking about the death of Dr. Amy Hardwick, who is the ex-fiance of Drew Carey, who is or is formerly the host of The Price is Right. Well, she's reporting this story of how the woman fell to her death off her balcony. She was allegedly pushed by her boyfriend. So Wendy William just bust out with, come on down. She did it just like that. That's what she did. The audience was quiet. You could have heard a mouse fart up in there. Nobody said nothing. And Wendy just kept talking like she ain't said nothing wrong. It's just, it just baffles me how the things that come out of her mouth. This, just a week after she had to do the tearful, not tearful apology to the LBGTQ plus community. Yeah, you remember the apology where she was trying to cry, but she really didn't cry because she wasn't really sorry when she made the comment to an audience member about leave our skirts and heels alone. A whole mess, Wednesday. A whole mess. Next, we have Janet Dubois. Janet Dubois is best known for her role as Walona Woods on the 1970 hit show Good Times, passed this week. Janet Dubois also sang the theme song for the Jeffersons. In 1980, she put out an album titled Queen of the Highway. Miss Dubois passed in her sleep. She was 74 years old. Next, Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein, who is 67. <laughs> My watch talking to me, I'm sorry. Harvey Weinstein, who is 67, has pled not guilty to sexually assaulting the production assistant Mimi Haley in 2006 and raping Jessica Mann in 2013. The jury was deliberating Wednesday. 
Harvey Weinstein, when leaving the court Wednesday, was asked by a reporter, was he worried? The former Hollywood producer, with a serious look on his face, shook his head no. He ain't worried. Mm. Next, we have Rick James. Rick James' estate is being sued for $50 million. This is 15 years after he passed. The alleged victim says the sexual assault happened in 1979 in a group home in Buffalo. <coughs> so, now, I'm all for the Me Too movement. Uh, if you were assaulted, done wrong, speak up. I'm all for that. But this 30, 40, 50 years later, you trying to fill out some forms and why is the statute of, liber statute of limitations still in effect for you? 15 years after his death. He he been dead 15 years. Now she's saying that the the alleged incident happened way before then. 15 years prior to that. You can't why he the man is dead. He can't defend himself, he can't speak for himself. He can't rebut your story. None of that. Good luck with your lawsuit. And lastly, we have Little Boosie. Now, Little Boosie went on his Instagram live and he gave a very heartfelt and a real opinion of what he think is going on with D. Wade and Gabrielle Union's son, 12-year-old son, Zaya. Lil Boosie said on his Instagram Live, don't cut off his penis. He not even old enough to buy cigarettes. He ain't old enough to drink. What happens if he finds, fall in love, he's 16 and he falls in love with a woman, then what he gonna do? If you didn't cut his penis off already. Well, the interview that D. Wade and Gabrielle Union had I didn't hear them say anything about reassignment surgery. I didn't hear that in that interview. I don't know where Lil Boosie got that from. Uh, maybe he misunderstood what they were talking about. But um, I agree with Lil Boosie. He is too young. If he's saying he wants to really go whole hog and be a female, he's going to have to wait. He's going to have to wait till he's um, a decent age to make that type of decision. Now, the delivery Labusi did when he was, gave that message could have been a little better. But I do side with Labusi in saying that if he want to be gay, let him be gay. He want to paint his nails, wear dresses, wear heels, indulge him. But as when it gets that serious where you want to do reassignment surgery... You're going to have to be 18, 19, 20 years old before we even consider going through with something like that. So that's all I have in the news uh, right now. I might do another news drop um, Saturday. We'll see who else gets dragged in the news on the Internet. Uh, I love you for watching.